Continuing where we stopped at the last video about Pog, I will show you how to configure your split keyboard in Pog today. Once you understand how the configuration works, it's very straightforward. It's just that the way we handle the configuration with KMK is completely different to how we do it in QMK. There is no firmware flashing, we just change a config file. In Pog we use this config file to set up the keyboard while it's booting up. So with the split keyboard, we need one more extra step. My name is Jan Lunge and I built POC so you can get started with custom keyboard firmware on your RP2040 keyboard without any coding. When you are installing CircuitPython, please also check exactly what board you are using because each board has a separate CircuitPython build and these can have even separate pin namings. Let's first rename the drive labels. The left half should end with the letter L and the right half with the letter R. This makes it possible to later add a dynamic split side detection. We first set up KMK and check if the USB drive of our keyboard has these files in the root directory. Because I don't only want you to get the configuration done, but also know why it worked. All these files are necessary for the firmware to run, and it's basically the code that gets executed on your CircuitPython drive. We're configuring this with a sweep split keyboard. This one is completely done with direct wiring, so we don't need to worry about direct direction. Then it's about the matrix and pins for the keyboard wiring. This sets up how many keys are on this keyboard half, as well as how the matrix gets scanned or if it's using direct wiring. All these things can be validated in the REPL after we flash the firmware in the next step. You can always come back to these settings later, even when the keyboard is fully configured. If there are invalid pin warnings, double check the pin names and also check which pins your controller provides via this handy command. So if you haven't set your keyboard type to split and the split pins, do that now. Take note that with the split side detection defined as config left and config right, it's the easiest to get started. These values cannot break and don't require any additional setup. If you want to have identical configurations for both halves, then use the VBus sense or the drive label option. The drive label sets the right side to the side that ends with an R. And when you rename the drive, make sure to open the new drive name with POG and delete the old keyboard reference so there is no confusion. Then we configure the actual keys that are configured on your physical keyboard with a chord map. When you press flash chord map, it will go into special mode that only prints the key index of the key that is being used. If the index of this matrix position doesn't get read, then something in the scanning method is not set up properly. Either the pins are not correct or the diode direction is flipped. Once the chord map works, you can already set up the keys on the key map and test if all these keys are in the correct place. If both halves work independently, we know for sure that the hardware setup is done properly. When both halves have the split config on them, you can connect them together and then connect one half as the main half to the PC. Now we can just open this half in POG and redo the chord map setup. But now we also press the keys of the secondary half. If the key presses do not show up, then the split config needs to be adjusted. On the KMK docs, you can find all configurations that you could need. Most are not in the POG GUI yet and need to be adjusted in code if your keys do not work after the setup we just did. All configuration for this is in the kb.py file in the split section. And there look for the keyboard type that you have set in POG. On some boards that are not the PyPico or the Helios, you might need to toggle the use PIO entry. Other things to mention are the UART flip, which can be toggled depending on how the pins between the controllers are connected, either to the same RX to RX and TX to TX port or RX to TX and TX to RX. Always check that the keyboard layout editor includes the numbers on them that map them to the index in the chord map. With these settings figured out, your keyboard should now output the key presses fine and you could override the old keyboard layout with a new one. And finally, we can configure our key map to the layout that we want. I hope this clears up some things about how POG works. All of your feedback was very helpful and thank you so much for everybody that helped out with creating pull requests, fixing bugs, as well as everybody who donated here or via Patreon. I have a few things prepared for the next videos, but you know, these projects tend to take some time. See you next time.